Hello there, my name is Melissa Spolini and I am a California real estate broker for Ed and Hart Realty and Design. Today's topic is going to be on what to do with personal property left behind by a resident after their tenancy time has passed. So um, there are a few things to note, but the very first step to take would be to determine whether those items are worth more or less than $700 as there may be a few extra steps if they are worth more than $700. So in either case, uh, we need to give notice to them. So in this notice, we need to include a few key things in here. So uh, item number one would be to give a description of the personal property that was left behind. It needs to be accurate enough so that they can identify what this personal property is that they left behind. So that would be item number one. Uh, item number two would be the place that this personal property or items may be picked up at, as this may vary since they may not be at the home anymore. Maybe there's a new resident in there now. So uh, this is number two. So number three would be uh, letting that resident know that there may be reasonable storage costs uh, involved if we have to store these items for them. So of course these may vary uh, whether we store them for two days or 30 days. So that can change a little bit. So um, item number four would be the date uh, by when these items should be picked up by. So this is very important because uh, I would say consult uh, with your own attorneys because each state is different when it comes to this law. Uh, California tells us that uh, we need to keep them for these items for them for a minimum of 15 days if we personally delivered uh, this notice to those residents. So uh, that's 15 days at minimum. And uh, if we mail this notice to them, then that changes it to 18 days. So uh, the next item in this notice should say uh, what will happen to this personal property if the owner fails to claim it. So, um, you know, it can be sold, it can be destroyed, it can be, uh, you know, there are so many things. So uh, we just need to let them know what will happen if they don't claim this property by a specific time, uh, considering the minimum days required by the state. So um, now, if this property is worth more than $700, uh, the step that we would want to take would be to hold a public auction. And that's what we also need to put in the notice that if it and then we have to subtract the cost of doing that advertising, um, holding the sale, um, etc. And then the funds are turned over to the county. Now, the resident has one year from the time the funds have been turned over to the county to reclaim that amount minus all the advertising costs and everything, of course, so that have already been taken out. So anyways, uh, I hope this covers it all. And uh, uh, let me know if there's anything I missed or anything you want to add to it. And uh, hope this was helpful. Until next time.